So by now, everybody's heard the Art of Wrestling podcast, episode 226 with CM Punk. Now, everybody has had a lot of things to say about Punk's side of the story. And all I have to say is that my personal experience at college mirrored his experience with the WWE. The first year at college was all right, but after that, I was so unhappy. Such a terrible experience. If the whole world wasn't telling me to get over it, maybe I should just shut up and just do it, I probably would have quit a lot sooner. This whole world's belief that, oh, you need education to do anything in your life. Life. It is so wrong. But even though my experience was so bad, I, I guess I'm kind of like Punk in a way where I was really stubborn, like I said I'm going to do this, I'll do it. Even though it was the unhappiest I had ever been in my life, I don't have any reason to not believe Punk. Asking people to be on the road all the time is very demanding. I was on the road all the time as a flight attendant. I didn't mind it because I loved it. If I hated the job, I would have been stressed out because you're always on the go. You don't have much time to relax. And I'm totally against unions, don't get me wrong, but for a highly skilled or highly specialized careers or jobs, I do believe maybe unions do have a place. And it sounds like when you get up there in the upper ranks of professional wrestling, maybe a union is due. The only bad thing with a union is that they would probably force wrestlers to not work as hard, which is complete BS because when I was in a union, they said, oh, I could only work so many days out of a month. But who are you to tell me how hard I can work? But they should be there to protect them when they need to be protected. Why does somebody who takes your drink order and picks up dirty trays deserve a union? The best part so far, at least right before I shot this, I did do some research on what the WWE had to say about CM Punk's interview. And the only statement that I saw released was, we hire professional doctors. Like, what? But I am curious to see what WWE is going to do over the next few weeks. Although I will say right now, I did not partake in any of WWE's Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals, which compared to years past, there weren't very many great deals. Maybe there were. They Apparently they put their sale on early, which is what everybody's doing. But that's a whole nother vlog for a whole nother day. I digress. So unfortunately, in a way, the unboxing video that Zane and I do every year is gonna be very, very slim pickings this year and this is totally voluntary but the raw loaf is gonna calm down for a couple weeks it probably isn't necessary to say but I am not that happy with the WWE right now I haven't really been happy with them for a while but I pretty much stood alone in my experience with college when I quit I quit college with just a few classes left to graduate much like punk probably walked out when he was probably just within arm's reach of that main event at WrestleMania so I wasn't happy with college and it was hard to do work I have like no desire to do the raw loaf right now that's how serious this is. I'm sitting it out when I'm actually doing the Rollo, except for maybe a couple times. When was I ever sitting down? No. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if I feel like I wasted my time in college, and yeah, I felt like I wasted a lot of time. If I didn't experience the whole road all the way up until nearly the end, I wouldn't be able to speak intelligently or speak with as much passion as I do about how much time and how much waste that college I went to was. We live in this supposed society where a business that does not perform well fails, but that obviously isn't true, and why that is, I don't know, because I don't understand why the college I went to even exists. That thing should be gone because it's so bad. So just give me a couple weeks. I want to see what happens. I'm still planning on doing a couple little videos here and there, but it may not seem like it, but an episode of The Raw Loaf takes about 10 to 15 hours to do, and that's a lot of time. And right now, I just don't feel like investing that much time into a product that I am not happy with. So I'll be watching Raw, which I won't be doing it illegally, don't worry, but I also won't be contributing to the ratings because there is no Nielsen ratings box present. But le let's see how this all thing let's see how this all goes down. This should be really interesting. And I'm a one-man band. I'm sorry.